Hello everyone, this is my first tutorial. This tutorial is going to be about how to edit sprites in Stardew Valley by unpacking and packing XNB files in Stardew Valley. The first thing you want to do is download SMAPI. After you download SMAPI, you're going to want to extract everything in the folder to your Stardew Valley folder. To get to your Stardew Valley folder, go through Computer, Local Disk, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, then Stardew Valley. After you extract all of the files from SMAPI into your Stardew Valley, you're going to want to edit the launch settings so every time you launch Stardew Valley from Steam, it will launch Stardew Modding API instead of the original Stardew Valley. Go into Steam and go to your library. Click on Games. Find Stardew Valley and go to Properties. Click on Set Launch Options. You can enter this code here, which is the location of your Stardew Modding API.exe with quotation marks, the percent sign command followed by another percent sign. Click OK. You can close that window. Changing the launch settings within Steam allows you to still get achievements while you play the game even though it's modded. Now let's work with XNB Node. XNB Node utilizes the command prompt within the computer. So go ahead and pull up the command prompt. Before we start to do anything, we need to get the folder with the original XMB files within your Stardew Valley folder. This folder is called Contents. Go ahead and copy your content folder into your XMB node. Now that your content folder is placed, we can use a command prompt to extract everything in the content folder into a new folder. The extra folders I have here are called Edited Packed and Edited Unpacked. I'll talk about those later. Now we're going to enter the command to start extracting our folders. Type CD quotation mark and the location where the X and B node command is. To do that, hover over the navigation bar and click. Right click and select copy. In your command prompt, right click and select paste. Finish the code by piping in closed quotation marks and hitting enter. After that, type x and b underscore node dot cmd extract since we're extracting the folder we're extracting from, which is content into the folder where we want the extracted content to go, which I'm going to call Extracted. Hit Enter. The extracted files will come in pairs. You'll have a PNG file and a YAML. In order to repack, you'll have to keep both of these files together. So keep that in mind when you're editing. When everything is done extracting, Go ahead and close the command prompt. We won't need it right now. Click on the extracted folder. Now you should be able to see everything within the game. I'm going ahead and click on something that is not seasonal that I can edit. I don't have any animals in the game yet besides my dog. I'm going to open that with Adobe Photoshop. I'm going to do a really simple edit just so we can see how this works. Select the whole thing and just edit the colors a little bit. I'm going to make my dog a little bit red. <laughs> Maybe he's been out in the sun too long. He doesn't seem to go in his dog house. Alright, we got my sunburnt dog. We're just going to go to File and click Save. 
Back in our animals folder, you'll see that there's dog.png where he looks red now that I've saved it. There is dog.yaml. So going ahead and select both of them and click copy. Now we're going to put these into the edited unpacked folder. Now that we have these in the edited unpacked folder, go ahead and open the command prompt again. You'll have to find the location a second time. So go back to your X and B node. We're going to type in again CD space quotation and click the navigation bar to find the location. Copy that and paste it. In quote, click enter. Now we're going to type XNB underscore node dot CMD, but this time we're going to type pack instead of extract. The folder we're going to type in is edited unpacked. To the folder edited packed. And click enter. Now as you can see, it replaces the XMB file in your original Stardew Valley folder, so it's a good idea to keep a backup before you actually start changing things. I already have a backup, so I wasn't really worried about changing anything, but if you don't, it's a good idea to put a backup somewhere where you won't touch it, like in desktop. Let's go to our edited packed folder. Now the dog is in an XNB file. Let's go ahead and copy that put it in our original Stardew Valley. My dog was in Animals, so I'm going to copy him over to Animals. Copy and replace him. Now I want to tell you why I put these extra folders here. As you can see, it makes work a lot faster to type in edited unpacked to edited packed instead of repacking everything in my extracted folder over again. It also makes it easier for me to see the things that I've changed and put into my game, in case there's something wrong with them, I can always go back and change them to the original file. Now I'm going to check if everything worked fine. I'm going to go into Steam and play my Stardew Valley. As you can see, it does load a little bit differently, but don't worry, the game will run basically the same. As you can see, my dog did change color and he looks red now. So that's a good indication that my edit did in fact work. Thank you for watching my first tutorial, and I hope you have fun editing Stardew Valley. There's a lot of things you can do in the game, like editing characters, their name, and even dialogue to make the game a little bit more customized. Again, thank you for watching and have fun in your game.